The gentlemen are here, Sir James. Thank you. My dear boy. My dear M. Ransom, CIA, Sir James. Oh, Junior and Cypher kick a car. Give him my day, weren't you, Ransom? Uh, yes, sir. JCC, uh, Class G, SIC to SCCT. Uh, CIA, Washington, D.C. Smirnov, KGB, Sir James. Ah, yes. Uh, the labor camp uh, inspector. Icon 988, GPU, Siberian sector. I remember your ch ch chap, Lenny, very well. First class organizer, second class mind. Le Grand, Sir James, Deuxième Bureau. Promoted at last from the vice uh, detail? How incredibly well you look, James. <laughs> Time, my dear M, does not exist within these walls. They ain't for real. Yes, a far cry from our embattled world. In my day, spying was an alternative to war, and the spy was a member of a select and immaculate priesthood. Vocationally de devoted, sublimely disinterested. <clears throat> Thank you. Hardly a, a description of that sexual acrobat who leaves a trail of beautiful dead women like blown roses behind him. You mean, um, You know very well who I mean. That bounder to whom you gave my name and number. My dear James, when you left us, we were a small service, underfinanced, ludicrously ill-equipped. It was essential that your legend be maintained. Without a James Bond, 007, no one would have respected us. Him and his wretched g gadgets. Well, we must make use of the weapons of our time. So I observe. You, Ransom, with your trick carnation that sp spits cyanide. You ought to be ashamed. Russians started it. And you, Smirnov, with a, an armory concealed in your grotesque boots. Listen to them t tinkle. And you, Legrand, with different deadly poison in each of your fly buttons. And you, M, with your flame and throwing fountain pens. You're, you're, you're joke shop spies, gentlemen. We are in the last half of the 20th century, Sir James. Even you have to face it. Why should I, when I can face that instead? Look at my garden. Out there, there is a black rose, not dark red, but black as a raven's wing at midnight. Gentlemen, I would not exchange one single petal of that lovely flower for anything your world has to offer, including an Aston Martin complete with lethal accessories. You have only contempt for the proletariat, James. This we know. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say you'd lost your faith in democracy. Look, James, you can break the bloody glass, but you can't hold back the weather. Things are bad, very bad. I've lost 11 agents in the last fortnight. Seven killed, four missing. Is it too much to hope that my namesake is among them? He may well be tomorrow. Eight of ours have been given the works. Two in the Pentagon. Sixteen. KGB is depleted. I'm not at liberty to disclose exact figures. The enemy has penetrated our most secret inner circles. He reads our very mind. For all we know, he has his eye on us now, sighting us in. Are you quite sure he's not one or more of you? Oh, no, oh, no. Absolutely oh, sure. Oh, oh. Until this danger is past, we must stand united in the defense of all spies, everywhere, great or small, regardless of nationality. Calamity makes strange bedfellows, but why, I wonder, in the strength of your unity, do you disturb an old-fashioned gentleman in his retirement? We need your inspirational leadership in this dark hour. Please give us the benefit of your incomparable powers of deduction. For the freedom-loving peoples of the world. For the sake of the glorious socialist revolution. If I may interrupt this flow of cliché, it is now that time of day I have set apart for Debussy. 